Have you got an error on your website called skip to content? Now this is what I had on my website and I'm going to tell you just how easy it was to fix it. I'm not a techie at all, I have no idea about what's going on in the background. I'm running a WordPress theme with Elementor plugged into it. I've been building my website for the last three months and then all of a sudden one day I viewed my pages and I had skip to content and the text was looking like some kind of old HTML. It was listing out my whole menu and I had no idea where to start. Um, and the first thing to do is just freak out, of course. Like, shoot, what's happened? My whole website's broken, what am I gonna do? Looking around, trying to find ideas. Now, to save you all the time, because I looked around the internet for ages and ages um, until I did find the um, fix for my problem, I'm gonna tell you all about it now. I found a wonderful plugin called Plugin Detective. Now, if your website goes down, normally um, it's recommended that you take all your plugins off, deinstall them, and then reinstall them again to find out which one is the problem. This plugin detective does all of that work for you. You don't need to deinstall anything. I'm gonna show you how it works right now, and we'll hop on over to the laptop. Right, so here we are in my dashboard of uh, my mama body. So what I did when I was having the problem is I went to plugins and add new. So the plugin you're looking for is called Plugin Detective. So just put in Plugin Detective and it should come up. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Here he is. So you can see Detective looking kind of dry. Let's install it. Here we go. Right, and once you've installed it, you activate it. Okay, now you can see when it's activated that you've got this new option up here called Troubleshoot. So what it will ask you to do is, um, it will ask you to go to where the problem is on your website. So if I go to visit site here, now I've got it fixed now, but I'll just show you an example where the problem was. So let's say the problem was by um, acid reflux, which is where it was. Um, so before I was just seeing a completely white page with some kind of HTML code in here, nothing like this before. And so I said, okay, please can you troubleshoot my page? First of all, he's got a bit of sympathy for you. I'm so sorry that you're having problems and then you open a new case. He's a detective after all. And we're gonna see where the problem is. So right, I'm there where I was having the problem. So, and I've got to tell him which of my plugins are required on my website. So I'll just do a couple of examples, right? I definitely need Elementor because I'm using Elementor. I definitely need this to make sure my website is compliant. And I'll just pick up Yoast SEO and say, okay. Now what he starts doing is interrogating and looking at the suspects. So we say, please start the interrogation. So right, what it does now, it's checking if the problem is within one of your plugins. I'll take a couple of seconds just to go through everything and then he'll have a look at each page according to the plugin and ask if it's been fixed. So I'm just going to say no, it's still broken just to give you an example of what's happening. Ah, and in this case it says, well, it doesn't seem to be one of your plugins. Everything else that we found is working. So I could go back and say start over and open a new case again. Because I only chose a couple of plugins, it might be to do with some of the others. Right, I'm there. Okay, please can you check this one and this one and all of them at the same time. Let's just check all of them this time around. Okay. Right. Do -do -do. Having a quick check. Right. 
And if I can say, okay, yes, it's fixed this time, let's see what he says. Oh, he's going to still check through the other ones. Right. Is the problem fixed? Yes. There's still one in the holding spell that he thinks is suspect. Let's check that last one. Is it fixed? Yes, it's fixed. So, they should all be cleared now, everything. What happened in my case was that it did find that one of my plugins, which I've now since then deleted, one of the plugins was causing the error on my website. So the detective here offered to deinstall it for me, but I said mm, I didn't really fancy doing that via the plugin, so I went back to my plugin list. You can go out of this now. I went back to my list of plugins and just deactivated and deleted the plugin that was the problem. So all you do in that case, I'll show you now because I'm going to deactivate this one and delete it. I don't need it anymore. And as soon as I don't need a plugin on my website, I always get rid of them again. So let's deactivate it. And then go back down again and you just delete it. Okay. Right, so I've removed that plugin, which is what I did also in the case with the other one that was causing the problem. As soon as I'd removed that plugin, then everything on my website was working fine again. I've had no problems since then. And if you do experience problems on your website, one of the first suggestions that always gets made is to deinstall plugins and then gradually reinstall them again one by one. So that's the best thing about this, is that it does all the hard work for you. So you don't actually have to go through and deactivate and delete all your plugins and then reinstall them, because that will take you ages, well, depending on how many plugins you've got. But if you've got a lovely little app like this one, nice little plugin, he just checks through everything. And I solved the problem within five minutes. It was really, really cool. So I hope you found that really easy to follow and that you can also save your problem within five minutes like I did with the plugin detective. Um, really good luck. Please if you like what you listen to you can subscribe to me because I'll be keeping you up to date with all sorts of other fixes and tricks that I've found out on my website journey and in any comments also about how you've solved yours or if something happened differently then please feel free to comment. I'd love to hear from you. See you again soon. Bye.